everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some empties to show you. I did one of these quite recently and it was like a massive, massive empties video. I feel like I rushed through it, it went on for ages, there were so many products and I asked you all whether you prefer me to do them more often and with like lesser products or whether you like the bigger ones and most of you said that you prefer the smaller ones and then it means I'm also not stashing a load of empty products for so long as well. So I've got in my usual little box that I keep my empties in, just some like skincare bits and hair, a few makeup things and hair care as usual. Um, I just thought if I got through them today and talked to you about what I thought about them, there's some gems in here and some things that I didn't quite like and then I can get rid of them before I go away on holiday. First of all, I think these, this has starred in every single empties video I've ever done. This is the short deodorant in bright bouquet and this is the deodorant that I wear every single day. I love the scent of it, it works for me and I really like it. Not much else to say about a deodorant. Then I have a travel size of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and I bought this in New York. This is obviously just a tiny one to put in your bag or if you're traveling and I love this so much. It really works honestly. It's It just makes your makeup stay on all day. Like it says on the tin, um, I really like it. I've got the full size one, this is just a travel one, and I got through it not too quickly, it lasted quite a long time. Now it's absolutely completely empty, so I will be repurchasing this. This is a micellar water, and this is from Simple. This I bought just to kind of try, I wanted to do a kind of like the top five micellar waters or comparison, and um, I think I will. I don't know if it'll count if I've got an empty bottle. I mean, I used it all. This was cheap and it worked. It wasn't the best thing I've ever used. It was just bog standard. It There was nothing about this that would make me rush out and buy it again. Next is my favourite dry shampoo. This is the Ruth Quilly Colab Dry Shampoo Sheer Invisible and this is the scent Tokyo. This is quite a sweet scent, a little bit overpowering, but I did really like it. But it's not really the scents that I buy this for, it's what's inside, it's the formula of this stuff. It is incredible. If you use um, dry shampoo religiously, if you love dry shampoo, you want texture and volume in your hair. This honestly, you put it in and it gets rid of the oil and makes your hair look fresh again, but you can't feel it and it adds texture and volume as well. It's the best dry shampoo I've ever used and I just, I'm trying other ones at the moment and it's just nothing compares to this. Next I have a face mist and this is the Vitamin E from The Body Shop Face Mist. This is really lovely, it's non-offensive, I think this would be great for sensitive skin. I just really love this, just to kind of like freshen up or as a step for toning in the morning, like I'll cleanse my face and then I'll spray some of this on just to add some moisture. I feel like my skin is always dehydrated, not dry, but dehydrated and this just helps with that and it's really nice to use on my beauty blender and um, just to kind of like wet a eyeshadow brush if I want to use a eyeshadow wet it's just a really nice product so I definitely would use this one again this is a shampoo from Lee Stafford and I will never buy it again it took me about six months to get through half a bottle and it doesn't do a blooming well thing this is the hair growth shampoo and maybe this works for some people I kind of think that they're just they've been very clever with the name and uh, I feel like if you use a good shampoo that conditions your hair and is nutritious, that it's gonna make your hair grow because it'll be healthy. This has nothing in it that is gonna make you have hair like Rapunzel. Um, so don't rush out and buy this if you think that it's gonna really make your hair grow long, cause it don't. It just is kind of like, it doesn't really smell of much. It's just kind of like a meh product. It doesn't really do anything and I won't buy this one again. This next thing is a cleanser, which I think I've spoken about before, maybe in a uh, favourites video. This actually still feels really heavy, and I'm not sure whether it's just because the packaging is heavy or whether there's some left in it, but I'm going to cut the top of this tube and see what else I can get out of this before I throw it properly away. And this is the Vitamin E Skincare um, Hot Cloth Cleanser from Superdrug, and this is so nice. If you want to try a hot cloth cleanser, but you don't have the budget to spend a ridiculous amount on a high-end one, this is so good. I think this is like five pounds, um, maybe a couple pounds either way. It's one of the cheapest ones, the cheapest one that I found on the high street that actually works. It melts and dissolves my makeup. It doesn't leave my skin feeling really dry. It just really, really works. And it's a really lovely product. I'm so impressed by this range from Superdrug. It really works well for me. Um, and I definitely would say that it's worth a try if you are in the market for something like this. I have some Boots Essentials cleansing wipes. These are the moisturizing for dry skin one. I just use this to take makeup off 
the back of my hand or in the morning if I'm being really lazy just to kind of like freshen up my skin um I always have packets of makeup wipes in my empties videos I have a shampoo and conditioner duo here and this took so long to get through again and I would use it again I have repurchased it but it's not like the best thing I've ever used um this is the Dove Pure Care Dry Oil Shampoo and Conditioner for Dull Dry Hair and they look like this. I really like the bottles of these. Um, the packaging is lovely. And I mean, they are a really nice shampoo and conditioner, but I always like to change my shampoo and conditioner because I'm always looking for the next best one that I like better than one I've used before. So I would use this again. It's just not one of my favorites that I've ever used. This next thing is the Glam Glow. I think this is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. And Glam Glow, when I first started watching YouTube, everyone spoke about it. And this is a clay mask. I got them in like a little set so that I got mini tester ones um, for cheaper rather than buying, I think one part of this is like 50 pounds. It was really nice. The, like People shout from the rooftops about Glam Glow and I haven't yet kind of discovered why. Um, I do really, really like it. It makes my skin look and feel amazing, but I wouldn't rush out to spend that much on a face mask, I don't think. But I'm glad I had the opportunity to try the little ones. And I definitely would use the brand again. People like, honestly rave about Glam Glow. Um, and it was nice. It was nice, but it's not, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting to be blown away and like a life-changing product and it wasn't that for me. In here I have a Rainforest Moisture Conditioner from The Body Shop. And I bought this, I think I needed to like spend so much to get a voucher or something. I think there's quite a lot left in this. It's technically not an empty. I just don't want to finish it because it just, it kind of made my hair feel more dry than it did before I used it. I didn't really feel like it did anything good for my hair. It doesn't smell nice. If I'm gonna use like a really heavy conditioner, I want my hair to smell divine after I've used it. And this one just didn't really smell of anything, so I wouldn't recommend this. On the other hand, from The Body Shop, I've got their Vitamin E Serum in Oil Overnight, and this is one of my favorite serums I've ever used. It's, I love the packaging, the prepare is really handy. And it took me so long to get through this and I used it every single night. I mean, there's a little bit left in the bottom. Um, and it basically, it doesn't, it kind of does what a serum should do. It's not too greasy. It dries really nicely into the skin. It doesn't feel tacky. It just sinks in really beautifully and it works really well with all moisturizers that I've tried with this. I really like it. And if you want, it's not too pricey. So it's a good serum to start with if you are wanting to add that step into your skincare routine. I would use that at night, not in the morning. And then also for skincare, before I do a couple of makeup bits, I've got the Eve Lom Cleanser, and this is a balm cleanser. And she is famous for being like the first one that brought out a cleansing balm to remove makeup and to cleanse the face. This is just a little tester that I got in a, I think it was a Look Fantastic box, monthly box, um, quite a while ago. It works, It's I need a, quite a lot really to melt my makeup off. It, it goes down to like an oil which is really nice. It feels really luxurious. The smell of this doesn't make me want to go and buy it again. Because she was one of the first people to, to bring this out, it's obviously, I feel like there are so many more out there now that people have brought out, brands have brought out that are nicer than this. High, better quality and they smell nicer, they work better. Um, but it's a nice product. If you get it as a freebie like I did, in a box of some kind or you get the opportunity to try it then um, if it's on offer then I would definitely pick it up because it works it's just not amazing and then this is my favorite mascara that I found in a really long time and this is the covergirl super sizer mascara this is from the states I don't think we have this over here I mean they're the sister company the same brand as max factor over here so there probably is a max factor version of this but I just love this mascara I just haven't found anything that quite beats it just yet. And then last but not least, I have my beloved NARS Laguna bronzer, which I have been going through for so long. I bought this. This was like a quite a like purchase for me because I think this is like £26. And I'd never ever spent that much on a bronzer or really anything for the face apart from foundation like that before when I bought this probably a couple of years ago now. And um, I'd hit pan and then somebody I think dropped it, Thomas, um, and it smashed so then I just couldn't use it. So I had used it quite well um, until it was fully empty. This is Laguna and I've already repurchased it, already have started using 
a new one because it's my favourite bronzer. I just haven't found anything like it yet. And I feel like it's such like a cult product. I almost don't want to love it that much because I feel like everybody does, but it honestly is so good. I really, really like it. That's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that and you kind of liked my little mini reviews of each product there that I've finished recently. I can now get rid of all of these and start again. Um, there's a lot of hair care and skincare there, not much makeup. I always find that makeup takes longer to get through anyway. I hope you enjoyed this today and that you're having a lovely day yourselves and I will see you very soon with my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.